hello again welcome to another video um today's video will be about Selected. another another audio game called frequency missing settings Double tap open. screen time general controls display home screen display brightness what? open lock 30 seconds button selected never selected never so we're going Heading. to play this Passenger. basically settings active it's an adventure game when you play as a character called patricia which works at the radio station and she has to go through different missions it's a basically choose your own adventure action game and it's more so an audio story like you do you do certain actions yourself but it's it's really enjoyable to listen to so yeah let's just go into it i turned on do not disturb so it wouldn't be disturbed by calls or messages so let's just go in Welcome to Frequency Missing. This game is played in landscape mode with the home button to the right. Main menu. Now usually the tutorial will come up when you first install or re-download the game, but because I played it a while ago there, um, it just brought me to the main menu straight away. So I'm going to show you briefly what the tutorial is like. Continue. New help. Drag your finger. Con new game. Continue. Help. Help. Con help. Do you want to play the tutorial one more time? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, what about In Frequency the Missing, you can explore menus and the game world by dragging one finger across the screen to listen for objects. When you find an object you want to use, release your finger. Remember to wear your headphones correctly to separate right and left. Right and left. Yeah, now correct. you will try to find an object in the game world. Hold down one finger on the screen. All right, so we'll have to hold and then drag. Hold. You can now hear a person whistling. Drag your finger toward the sound until you hear a click. And then we have to release it, basically. Good. Now. Release your finger to select. Hello. Perfect. You found a person and have started a conversation. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Sports. The weather. The weather is great. Good. Now choose bye and let's move on. Food. Bye. Bye. Good. That's it for the tutorial. Now choose New Game in the menu to start the game. Right, so the tutorial is very easy Main menu. to complete. And the game, as you can hear, it's easy to navigate. So yeah, let's just go. New Game. If you start a new game, your previously saved game will be overwritten. But we Are have you completed sure you want it, to start we? a new game? <laughs> yes yes we do. the game auto saves so you can pick up where you left off <laughs> okay. oh my head what happened where am i it's so dark ouch i'm locked in help is someone there Ugh, i probably shouldn't have done that if they hear me they might knock me out again i hear some rattling if I feel around, I might be able to locate where that noise is coming from. For some strange reason, that is a weird beginning of the story. Like, you know, it's just... Okay, let's drag. So we hear some kind of clicking noise. So drag to work. A screw! I might be able to pry it loose with my hands. Okay. There we go. Hmm. It's still locked. Maybe there are more screws. All right. Yeah, it's a weird beginning, but like once it goes into the chapter, then it kind of goes, you know, continues clear. So, yeah, let's find another screw where you are. Ah. Another screw. It's starting to give way. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, this is the trickiest part to line it, line it up. Chapter 1. Do, 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 do. Three days earlier. April 13th, 8.35 a.m. My first day at work as a reporter for Radio IDUN. Richard would have welcomed me and showed me around, but he disappeared three days ago. I'm really worried. Carl might know something about where he is. Yeah, this is a game, but it's more so a story to listen to. Yes, you have to do certain actions, but you can mostly... Sit back and relax and listen to it. You know, there's Carol. Let's put the focus on him. There we go. Hi, Carl. What's up? How's it going? Oh, hi, Patricia. Just fine. How are you settling in? Okay. Richard, have you read the newspaper today? N no. What's on your mind? It said the police have closed the investigation on Richard's disappearance. What? No one has seen him in three days. I know! They claim there's no indication that a crime has been committed. How can they not care about what happened? I'm sorry. I know you're good friends. Is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I don't think so. I was so happy when he got me this job and was really looking forward to working with him. All right, let's ask... Richard's disappearance. Enough about Richard. Thank you. Richard. Okay. N New at work. It's a lot to process in a short amount of time. Yes. Something on your mind? The chief. All right, let's ask about our... The R Carl's job. Employees. Well, not employees, but, you know, our colleagues, actually. The Enough about work. The R Carl's job. Okay. I don't think I've asked you what you do around here. That's all right. I work as a fact checker and audio technician. What does a fact checker do? I check that all the facts are correct. And as an audio technician? I make sure that your segments sound good on the air. All right, that's good enough to know. The chief, the radio... Well, I got a quick tour yesterday, but maybe you can tell me more about the radio station. I don't know what to say. The building is a bit much for my taste. It was originally built as a royal library, apparently. I'm sure Monica at the reception can tell you more about the station. Okay. The chief, the radio station, the chief... Enough of the chief. The chief has barely had time for me yet. What is he like? He can be a bit difficult to deal with sometimes. He wants to be one of the crew and make good broadcasts, but he also wants to make his bosses happy. Oh, he's not in charge? No. He only runs our department, even if he sometimes acts like he runs the whole station. Let's just say he's acting like a bastard. <laughs> the chief. Okay. Enough about work. Thank you. New at work. I don't think there Richard. Are Goodbye. R new More options, so let's just say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. All right. There is a door. Let's the door open. to the lobby. I should ask Carl about Richard's disappearance before I do anything else. Hey, okay. All right. Hi, Carl. New at work. R goodbye. Richard. About Richard. Yes? Richard's disappearance. Do you know anything about Richard's disappearance? No, nothing. I was going to snoop around in his office, but someone had locked it. Do you think there's anything in there? I don't know. But he spent a lot of late nights in his office. I thought maybe he had left some notes about what he was working on. Yeah, apparently if you miss an action, it wouldn't let you do a certain action then. That's, mm, okay. I mean, that's kind of a little bit annoying, but on the other hand, yeah, it kind of makes sense, all right. Richard's um, disappearance. Okay. Rich, enough about Richard. Rich, rich, Richard's, Richard's job. Enough about Richard. Richard's job. Do you know what he was working on? Some stories, but nothing that would explain his disappearance. You spent a lot of time together. He never told you anything? No, but... I got this feeling he wanted to tell me something, but couldn't. I thought it might have something to do with what he was working on. Richard's di R Enough about Richard. Thank you. Richard. G new. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. 
Okay, now we can move on, I think. The lobby. Yeah. The radio station's lobby. Grandiose and awe-inspiring. You can't help but be impressed by it. All right, let's find that Monica. Monica. Where is Monica? Monica, where are you? Oh, yes. oh there you are. The radio station's receptionist. Hello, Monica. Good morning, Patricia. What can I do for you? Coworkers, what can you tell me about our colleagues? Who do you have in mind? Stephanie. Apparently, Stephanie will be my mentor. What is she like? I'm just using her. Oh, is she going to be your mentor? She's pedantic, very skillful, and a respected news anchor. But if you ask me, she can be a bit stuck up sometimes. The chief. What is the chief like? He's an orderly man that knows how to take charge. But between you and me, he can be a bit grumpy sometimes. Oof. Stephanie. The chief. Stephanie. Carl. What's Carl like? He's a fun guy that gets along with pretty much everyone at the station. Officially, he's a fact checker, but he mostly works on the audio for the broadcasts. Enough about Carl. Thank you. Coworkers. The, the radio station. How many people work here? Well, we have uh, 60 employees, the biggest and best radio station in the country. Work. What is everyone doing here? Well, most of them are reporters like you. There's a lot that goes into making good broadcasts, so we also have several audio technicians and lots of administration. Yeah, as you can hear, it's completely easy. Work. Enough about the station. My job. Play. Do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Huh. Don't you know? Yes, but the chief just told me to get acquainted with the station. I suppose you'll start with a few small stories here and there. But regardless of what you get to do, you should be proud and happy you're working for this fine radio station. Oh, really? My job. Enough about the sta- Enough about the- Thank you. Coworkers. Let's Goodbye. Richard's disappearance. Richard. Do you know anything about what's happened to Richard? Well, not more than anyone else, I believe. The police were snooping around here a few days ago, and I and I and now I'm reading that they don't think a crime has been committed. Snooping? It's good that they investigated, but they could have done it without disturbing everyone. To be honest, we didn't get along very well. He was a very good reporter, but he didn't always think the rules applied to him. Yeah, I make sure I do every Coworkers. action before I... Goodbye. Thanks, Monica. Move on. Right, let's see. There is a door. That's my office. And that is the chief office, I believe. It's... Oh, yeah. Richard's office. Actually, no. It's locked. Could there be a clue to his disappearance in there? Yeah, we have to find the chief's office first because he has the keys to his office. So we have to trick this trick this bastard to the chief's office. A well-furnished office that smells of leather and cigars. Okay. And there's the chief. Okay. Hello. Excuse me, chief. Do you have a minute? Yes, one minute. What do you want? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. What? Well, okay. <laughs> what a good manners. Locked office. Why is Richard's office locked? The police have already investigated it. They didn't find anything. You have to understand, I don't want other people running around in there causing even more trouble. They must have missed something. Are you doubting the police's competence? Stop meddling with things you don't understand and go do your job. Don't you dare speak to me like that. I don't have time for all these questions. Well, fuck off, so. The lobby. All right, let's what we can do. Okay. 
Okay. The door to the newsroom, where all the broadcasts are made. Hold it! We're broadcasting live! You need the Chief's permission to go in there! My Jesus Christ almighty. I don't want to go back to this bastard. Okay. The Chief's office. Ah. Oh. Where's that chief? Oh yeah. I don't have time for all these questions. Well, give him permission to go to the newsroom, though. Jesus. I don't have time for all these questions. I don't have time for all these questions. You, you bastard, you. The lobby. Oh my god. How do I make it? Chief, you. Richard's office. It's locked. Should have asked the chief to. Okay. The chief's office. Oh my god. A key cabinet. Get away from there. Do you often rummage through other people's belongings? Hmm. The key to Richard's office is probably in there, but I'll never get to it as long as the chief is here. I really don't have time for you right now. Go to the newsroom. Maybe you can learn a thing or two about live broadcasting. All right, thanks for the permission. Jeez, okay, I, I had to touch the keys. Then in that case, to get him to... The lobby. Right, now we can go. Jeez, this game is so complicated, actually. Sometimes, all right. There is the stairs. Now, the Monica, you don't. Monica, the chief said I could go in. All right, just be careful and don't do anything to disturb them. Oh, I will. The, world the newsroom. The Furnishings are simple and functional. It's the heart of the station. And Greywood Steel has a new manager. Right. I'm Stephanie, your host, with today's Let's news. See. But first, a little music. Stephanie is in the speaker booth doing a live broadcast. Apparently, she will be my mentor, now that Richard is gone. Mm, right, let's disturb them. Mm, 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 mm. There is the switch. Hmm, a large switch. Do I dare pull it? Yeah. Yes. What the heck are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> what are you doing, Butterfingers? You just interrupted a live broadcast. I don't care. I'm sorry. I lost my balance and fell on the switch. Get out. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but it should keep him busy for a while. How dare you say that to me, you fucker? <laughs> okay, now I can get into the chief's office and take the keys so he... the chief's office okay there it, it it's a stacking noise hmm this key looks like it could open the door to richard's office right i don't care whose fault it is it's your job to make sure these things don't happen i'm sorry stephanie we're working as fast as we can it's good of you to remind me <clears throat> We had some temporary technical difficulties, but they're now taken care of, and we will continue with the broadcast. Oh, the broadcast is up and running again. I better get out of here. Uh oh. Okay. News. The Prime Minister right. opened this year's environmental summit by addressing the, the lobby. There's the door. Now that's the 
you solve this. Okay, 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 okay. This is the Richard's office. Richard's office. I hope I brought the right key. Yes! Patricia versus Lux, one nothing. All right. Richard's office. Okay. Let's, Let's see what you're hiding from me. Richard's Noteboard. Nothing of interest there. Hold on. There's a VIP card to the Duke Silverglons Club. I didn't know he was a member there. Isn't that a bit too expensive and exclusive for him? I just noticed that the painting is a bit crooked. There's a safe hidden behind it. I doubt the police would have left it alone if they had found it. I might need some assistance opening it. A stapler, a tape roll, paper clips, and some blank pages. More or less what you'd expect to find on a desk. Nothing here that tells me what happened to him. Mm. Richard's safe. I need help opening it. Okay, for this we would have to go back to our office. So let's see. Let's get Carol to help us. The lobby. Okay. I'll go back to our office now. Carl's in my office. What is it? I managed to get into Richard's office. Someone had turned the place over, but unlike me, they didn't find the hidden safe. We have to open it. Nice. I have an idea. Should we go to his office? Of course. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here, take this contact microphone, place it on the safe, and you might be able to hear when it unlocks. Wouldn't it be quicker if you did it? You found it, so it's only fair that you open it as well. I'll keep watch and let you know if all someone's right, coming. All right. Okay, Richard. Let's see what secrets you've hidden in here. So, uh, how do I do this? With the contact microphone, you should be able to hear the click from the locking mechanism. When you hear the clunk of the locking bar, you should stop and drag in the other direction. I think these kind of locks usually start to the right. So drag to the right until you hear a clunk, then switch directions. Keep doing that until the safe is open. Okay, this is the trickiest part. To be honest, it will take me a while maybe, but I'll try my best. Let's see. Yes! Patricia versus Locks, two nothing. Okay. Now let's see what you thought was worth hiding, Richard. What did you find? A tape. I wonder what's on it. Hmm. We better listen to this in our office. Let's load the reel into my tape recorder and hear what secrets are hidden on it. Oh, shit. Well, what's wrong with your tape recorder? It's not my recorder. It's the tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll fix it, You'll have to give me a few days. Right. Chapter 2. What's it wrong? Number 14. Shop notification center. Facebook, 20 minutes ago. You have 346 AM. We are going to continue. The chief has given me my first frequency missing. Pass switcher. Frequency missing. Active. Swipe with three fingers. Closing. Actions available. Close frequency missing. Games. Portrait. Closing games folder. Notification center. Facebook, 20 minutes clear. M. So this is the part one of the Don't Queen C missing. Hope you enjoy. And yet yeah, we're going to continue the chapter two next time. Home. Under. Control center. Selected. Selected. Screen 